So it's important that we know what y is equal to e to the x and y is equal to log of x, ln of x, look like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sketch these curves on the same pair of axes. So we know what y is equal to e to the x looks like. It looks like y is equal to 2 to the x or 3 to the x. Okay? So it starts off very close to the x-axis here, increases, goes through 1 on the y-axis. Okay, so that's y is equal to e to the x. It has a horizontal asymptote on the uh, x-axis, y is equal to 0. So, let's write that down. A horizontal asymptote at y equals 0. y is equal to log x, on the other hand, starts off way down here, very close to the y-axis, and then increases, but past 1 on the x-axis, it starts to increase slower and slower and slower. So it starts to slump off. It's still increasing, but um, it's increasing very slowly. And this has a vertical asymptote at x is 0. So the y-axis is a vertical asymptote for it. What you might have spotted is that these curves look very similar in the sense that they are a mirror image of one another straight through the line y equals x. This is because they are in, known as inverse functions of one another. Now, inverse functions is something we're, we're going to be studying later on. Okay? But it's useful to point out at this stage that they are inverse functions of one another, and that is why they look similar, but are mirror reflections of each other through that line. So we'll see what effect that has in the next video.